It's important that all those working with children and young people have been carefully selected and recruited. It's also important that any concerns that do arise are handled confidentially. Here, yeah, what's he doing here? Who? Oh. Him, that coach. He was at my son's school, but they got shot of him a couple of months ago. How come? Uh, it was all hush-hush. What, you think it was interfering with the kids? Well, I don't have the details, but they got rid of him quick. It was definitely something dodgy. Did you check Richard out before you brought him into the junior team? He's a really good coach. We're lucky to have him. Yeah, but did he go through the club's recruitment process? Did you run a CRB check, get references from previous employers, check his qualifications? Like I said, he's a really good coach. If I had to go through all that, would have lost him to some other club. Yeah, but you know the rules. There's rules for everything now. Yeah, and they're there for a good reason. Richard won't have any more contact with the boys until these checks are done. Should think so too. No, listen. We have got no idea what happened at your son's school, and neither have you. I know he left quickly, and I know there's a lot of talk. And we will look into it. Look, the boys' welfare is our top priority. But we have to look into every concern fairly and confidentially. It could very well be there's a perfectly good explanation why Richard left the school. It's always best to follow the club's procedures. When concerns are expressed, it's vital that they're dealt with confidentially. Every club needs a clear route for reporting concerns. It's important for people to have proper criminal records and other safeguarding checks before they work with children.